Hello there! I want to show you some comparisons I uh, made with my hardware, the 4090 uh, RTX with the AMD 7950X. And I also compared all the other hardwares I have, I mean a 3090 RTX and a 3070 Ti RTX. And I also put all of them onto uh, my old uh, computer, uh, AMD 5900X. Uh, and yeah, there I put every of my uh, graphic cards and I run the benchmark just to realize how um, it will perform. And uh, after this benchmark, where I run the Puget bench for, uh, from DaVinci Resolve, I also took uh, some test footages I shot with the R5 and the R5C in 8K, in 4K, in 120fps, in 60fps, in 30fps. Uh, and to see how well they will do on my hardware. And so I run all the tests, the same footage, uh, with uh, six different configurations, and uh, always with uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio 1804. And yeah, here I can present you what my results are. And first I will start here by showing you the results from the Puget. Uh, I also took some other scores two scores from others, as I don't have any Intel, and so the only Intel I found was a 13900K uh, with the 4090 and um, also a 12700 with the 4090, just to see how well they will perform against my hardware. So here if we start from the left, uh, we have the 7950X, uh, so my fastest uh, configuration, uh, when I set the compression and debayer mode. The second one is just with the debayer, as the software tells me I should use debayer, as the score would be better. So <laughs> if we see here, uh, the only thing, two things what are really better when I set debayer are the R3D to H264 and R3D to DNX HR high quality. So here instead of 91.74, what I have uh, with uh, decompression and debayer, uh, it gets 121 and 99 FPS. But all the rest is uh, equal or I'm slightly better, equal, equal, these are the two we talked about before, equal, 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 and uh, now we are on the 8K, again e equal, equal, here we have a slight win, and then the red to H264 in 8K, we have a big win on the decompression debayer. So I suppose that the test what uh, DaVinci Resolve makes is only in 4K. We have a big win, then again we have a big win in, uh, in the two ones where we were losing up here in the 4K uh, footage. Then also red to DNX HR. Uh, here we are slightly over 30 FPS and uh, it gets to 43 FPS. And uh, then the rest is uh, almost equal. I mean 243 and 413. So the rest uh, I, don't, I won't look them here. Now if we compare it to the 13900K, we see that the 3900K with the 4090 makes a big, big win over my system. But uh, most of it is uh, because of the fusion score, where um, yeah, it looks like if the CPU, the Intel CPU, makes a better job than uh, the AMD one, he gets a score of 495, while we have 414. Uh, and uh, down here we can see, okay, slightly better, slightly better, slightly better, 30% better, then slightly better, slightly better. Uh, yeah, so the fusion makes a very big difference, but uh, the scores are not so big in difference. So, yeah, uh, after that, also the GPU effects is a little bit better than uh, than uh, my system. And uh, here we see uh, he's slightly better, much better, sli equal, 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 slightly better, slightly better. Here he is, uh, no, now we are on the 8K. And uh, so uh, this uh, is the part what 
interests me. I mean, I do 4K when I shoot in 120 FPS and the rest I shoot in 8K for my footage, what I prefer to shoot. And uh, in this comparison, you can see that the 4K media is better on our side if I make the compression Andy Bayer or if I make the Bayer. And the 8K media score is also much higher in both configurations. Now I see he only uses the Bayer, so I don't know what the score would be if over here the Intel system would also take the compression and the Bayer. I guess, uh, like in my case, I got uh, over 30 points more and uh, maybe he will also score around uh, 30 points more. And uh, the other point uh, is he has RAM with a speed of 3600 megahertz. That means to me it is DDR RAM 4. While my shows here 4800 megahertz, but it is running on 6000, so this must be a bug. Uh, now if we compare the 4K media with the Intel one, is that here we are almost a draw, a little bit better my, then a big win, then almost equal, a big win, a little bit faster, faster, around 8% here, faster, just a little bit, then much faster, and then here is the first one where we are losing in 8K media from H265 to H264, but it's not a big lose. Then a slightly win over here, then a slightly lose, again in uh, similar like up here, but on an 8K timeline while this is a 4K timeline. Then here we have a big win, a little win, a win, a win and a win. But now if we compare the decompression and divider, we have, we are in front, then much in front, then in front, much in front, then we are losing here by a big score. But uh, yeah, in the same uh, debayer we would win. So uh, over here we have a big win, then slightly losing again in the 8K media, then again a win, slightly losing, a win, a much bigger win than here, then again a big win, again, a big win and again a really big win. I mean, I mean if you are under 30 FPS then also the playback of a 30 um, FPS timeline will be a little bit stuttering and we will see that uh, later when I will show you the footage. Well after that we can go through the testing a little bit faster while uh, here I show you the score where I uh, replaced the 4090 uh, with the 3090 and here we see the 4K media falls down from uh, 198 to 167 and the 8K media falls down from 215 to 186 but still much better than uh, with the Intel system. And uh, yeah, we have a whole uh, generation of GPU lower. Then uh, the rest is losing by a lot. I mean, the GPU is much slower and uh, Fusion score, okay, chose like if the Fusion is also using a little bit of the GPU. Then uh, beside the compression and debayer, I also run the 3090 with uh, only debayer. And here you can see how the score falls down. Still, most of it is much, much over 60 FPS. That means you can work really nice with all these codecs. Um, yeah and all of these systems and um, yeah just here you can compare how much you are losing in which situation so it means if you are making a lot of progress 4 to 2 and you convert it to H264 then you can look here what is the best and uh, yeah you can then this system would be clearly the best but also over here uh, if you have an uh, old um, older generation uh, GPU and uh, then you can say no it is enough I mean you see here most of it is doing really really nice and so you don't have to upgrade to the expensive 7950X. Uh, you can see here all the scores and take uh, whatever you want 
or whatever you are interested to buy or to use. Uh, but uh, here you can just see how much it loses or it wins if you make uh, some kind of changes. So over here, uh, it was interesting, I also run it when I have the uh, Windows 10 Pro on the same system. So I have a dual boot and uh, interestingly the Windows 10 makes a much higher score. Here is the debugger against the debugger and uh, yeah you see the difference here bigger here bigger here much bigger and here bigger so uh, uh, it looks like if windows 10 it would score much higher also if i would run it with uh, yeah with my new computer uh, with um, my best configuration but usually now i only use the windows 11 uh, yeah but when you look at this course maybe it would be better to switch back to the Windows 10 as the old graphic card, the 3090, scores in 4K exactly as much as the 3900K with the 4090 uh, here. And uh, yeah, then 8K media is better than this one over here. In the rest, okay, we are losing much, but depending on what you do with DaVinci Resolve, and if you use a lot of fusion or GPU effects, um, yeah, you can decide what will be better for you. But uh, it was a big surprise for me that here with the old graphic cards, it can beat the 4K media score and the 8K media score against uh, yeah, the new graphic card with the 3900K. A positive surprise. Then inserted the 3070 Ti and here, yeah, the 8K media falls much behind while the 4K media still is nice and good. But also here I was using the Windows 10 Pro. And uh, here you can see again the scores, how they change. I mean, the 4K media is almost the same, uh, but in the 8K media, you can see here clearly the H265 to H265 six four is almost unusable no it is unusable because maybe the ram here is needed more and uh, because this graphic card only has eight gigabyte ram it was full and so it couldn't perform anything the same thing down here with the uh, red to h264 so yeah there are a lot of 8k things what you cannot do when you have just the eight gigabit graphic card but if you don't need this 8K footage, if you just make 4K footage, then the 3070 Ti is not bad. I mean, it is really similar like the 3090. And if I compare it against the 4090, it is still really usable. I mean, 183 against 198. And let's bring this a little bit closer so that we can uh, compare it better. So, yeah, okay, it is faster with the 4090, but if it can make 200 FPS or just 169, you can work with both really nice. So, uh, yeah, for 4K footage, I wouldn't say you need to buy a 3090 or a 4090. Um, yeah, let's go up to here, 67 instead of 88, here equal, then uh, yeah, 87 against 117, 96, oh, this is a win. Strange, but this one, these two are better. Okay, this is because of the debugger, while this was not with the debugger, and over here we had 99 and 117, no, okay, that means it would be better with the 4090 uh, if you use the same mode. So uh, let's click this again. Okay. After this uh, one, what we saw with the uh, 3070 Ti, I switched the computer, the CPU, uh, and I inserted the 4090 into my old 5900X, the 12 core processor. And uh, it was not so bad. I mean, the overall score Looks really high. Just took this one over here. Oi. Hello? No. It looks like if we lost everything, 
So somehow I lost the windows and uh, I had to reopen all the windows and to place them against uh, one beside the other. So I haven't opened every one I opened before, but now we can uh, try to look also the 5900X, the 12 core processor. And uh, here we see that um, it is doing pretty well. I mean, 8K media score is 170, while the 4K media score is 154, if we compare it with the 1490. And this with uh, the compression and the buyer. Then only with the buyer, uh, the 8K media score is not high, the 4K also not so high. So uh, yeah, I would anyway use the compression and the buyer. I think in one or two, the enabling the compression and the buyer would be uh, better for this system. But um, wait, okay, here is light win, then here is light win. Then a big lose over here. Here is light win. Yeah, but in general, I mean, here you cannot work if it is under uh, 30 FPS with all this codex here, one, two, three, four. And this is, yeah. While here you can work really nicely. Okay, this not, but it is again a little bit better. So if you use 8K media, uh, I would go uh, with the compression and the buyer. Then uh, with uh, other graphic cards, with the 3090 and the 3070 Ti, I just made uh, the compression and the buyer. No, and over here I made a debuyer. Okay, not so great, but yeah. You see the buyer, the 8K media score is really low. It would be a little bit better if I uh, would enable both, but uh, yeah. I, I don't plan to reinsert these graphic cards and to do also the other tests. Here you see that the 8K media score with uh, 3090 is also not so bad and the 4K is also usable, but it's no comparison against the against this one. I mean, that was my old computer, how I was working with this one. And this is my new computer. And uh, yeah, in 4K media, you see uh, in a lot of cases, instead of uh, let's say 91, you have 117. Instead of 125, you have over 200. And here a big win, a very big win here. Here a very big win, here a big win, big win, big win. So uh, yeah, everywhere I think. This also 59 to 88, 32 to 55. So uh, I would say in general, if you work with, yeah, from 25, you get 43 FPS. And uh, yeah, it is really a good thing if you want to upgrade the whole system, the 5900, 12 core, and upgrade it to a 7900 fix, uh, 7950X and then also replace the 3090 against the 1490. Let's also check the slowest one and uh, if we see this one then you can uh, realize that uh, the 3070 Ti is really slow in some 8K media. This is very slow, this is slow. I mean almost all the 8K media from here to here are below 30 FPS. So if you would use a 24 FPS timeline, maybe you can work with that. But uh, if you use a bigger one, a 30 or uh, faster, then uh, yeah, a lot of codecs will not be fast enough that you can uh, play yeah, in real time. Uh, also, there are some uh, cases where you can uh, work with the 8K quite nice, but this one's over down here, they are just no, not playable. 4K is still okay, you can work nicely, not as fast as with the other ones, but uh, yeah, for 4K it is still good. Now GPU effects and fusion score, yeah, you see against my new computer, there is no comparison, 
yeah also against the intel there is no comparison at all here see what my initial thought was why i did the test at the beginning i had the 5900x 12 core processor uh, with the 3090 24 gigabyte graphic card and i was thinking should i uh, upgrade the gpu to a 4090 or should i upgrade the cpu initial uh, thoughts were should i go to this system or should i go to this system finally i went to this one and so i can test all of it all the different cases and uh, while you see that uh, upgrading the CPU brings a lot of performance in 4K media and in 8K media. Uh, if you now update only the 1490, the GPU, then uh, you would have a bigger improvement in 8K, and, uh, but not as a big an improvement into the 4K media. And you would have a big win in uh, the GPU effect with a better GPU and uh, but the fusion score would stay um, yeah would just get a small improvement because of the better GPU also. Now if you would invest only in the CPU then uh, you would get a better fusion score. The GPU effects would be just slightly better and also you would have a big win in uh, 8K media similar to the 8k media improvement over here but not as good uh, but uh, you would have the biggest win in 4k media and uh, yeah and finally by upgrading everything you have the biggest win everywhere i mean this is better than everything else this is better than everything else this is better than everything else even the gpu effects with the same gpu is a little bit faster if you have also a faster uh, CPU and also the fusion score is everywhere better it is yeah a close run if you would say okay I will upgrade the GPU or the CPU and you can see here that uh, there are some things where uh, you get much more improvement by a better uh, GPU I mean here the H.264 to H.264 in 4K will jump from 91 to 111 while uh, if you stay with the same uh, CPU you would stay exactly in the same FPS but now in the DNX H.264 uh, to DNX you would get a much bigger jump with a new GPU and uh, so it is some of the codecs would better benefit more here much more and some would benefit much more over here so it is not clear what is the better uh, upgrade uh, as a lot of codecs will benefit much more from the cpu and the others from the gpu and so to have everything i finally bought everything and now i will go and sell my old computer but it's still a very good one for working with 8K and 4K, but uh, yeah, not in every case. Now I want to show you um, also my results by comparing footage from the R5C and the R5. So to show you this, I want to show you the, you the project I made in DaVinci Resolve. The monitor is recording everything. I don't know how well I can play that. But let's say this one. I took uh, similar footage here from this uh, little train station to uh, show you how well the hardware is doing with uh, my uh, system. I uh, made this test. I just did a slight uh, color grading. Uh, and uh, then I run it. I just wanted to see the playback speed. And uh, after that, I set frames, temporal noise removal with Luma 5, Chroma 5 and Blend 5. And then I run again the playback. Um, yeah. To see how it runs. You see here it runs nicely. 
With noise removal you see this one over 60 fps. I shot a lot of different formats but uh, in, uh, with the R5C here you can see the H265, 422 and always I was running here to see how much can it run. Is it green? If yes I will go to a double speed. If it is still okay I will go to a four time speed and here you see four times it struggles so that means that it can play two times really nice and it's a 30 fps timeline so it can play uh, better than 60 fps but um, this would be the test I would do. Here you see all the footage I shot and um, yeah this test I just I run through by uh, by checking and rechecking and changing the temporal noise removal to uh, zero and then to two and just to measure how much frames I would get. And so I run the whole system. You can see here uh, the results what I got. And uh, the R5C with uh, on the best computer I have on the 7950X with uh, 4090 you can see here everything what is good and what is not good. So I would say all the greens are perfect over 120 fps. Sometimes it was over 240 fps. So this footage you can work really perfect with uh, with this computer. Uh, but uh, if it's only white then it's faster the playback than uh, 30 fps. If the noise removal is also um, faster than 30 fps, if you set the two like I showed before, then this would be 30. And here if it is red, it means it is much slower than 30 fps and it is struggling. I mean R5C, you can see what I mean. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this one here. Here you can see how it struggles. I want to play it and it's just jumping. You cannot work with that. You could work if you use proxies. Maybe also if you uh, de deactivate color grading and if you deactivate here all the, the titles. No, also here it is just jumping and not really usable. And over here <coughs> I was looking in the color grade as here you can see how many FPS it makes and then I would take the score over here with enabled color grading and with the titles uh, activated just to make the table I, I showed you before. And here we can see it again. Uh, this here is the main output I got once he run with the 7950X and then over here I also took the same scores when I run it with the 5900X. So you see here it has much more red things where it's not good or it's falling to 30 FPS with the 3090 and um, yeah you see this one here, the R5 4K H265 422i in 60 FPS is, uh, yeah, it's not workable not, neither with the 4090 or the 3090 or the 3070 Ti. So uh, if you go over here, it's still not good. Okay, this here have been at 20 FPS, but yeah, you cannot work with that. At least I can't. And uh, here also with the uh, fast CPU, you see if you have the 3090, there are some more um, formats where you, where I would say it's not good to work with, um, or at least you would have to use proxies to work with this ones. And uh, here the R5C RAW light, uh, the 12 bit in 60 F frame rate or in 30 frame rate. Uh, while it is over 120 with uh, each of the 24 gigabyte GPUs, it is not usable with the 3070 Ti on the fast computer. And if I switch over here, then uh, it is still workable, not at 120 with the 4090, but over 60 FPS and not with 120 on the 3090, but still over 30 FPS. 
uh, but uh, yeah, with the 3070 Ti, yeah, the 8K footage is not really workable. Then uh, what I had here uh, and what I must say is that the R5C 12-bit raw footage is making trouble with the 4090 uh, and the 5900X if I uh, enable more than one titles. Um, if I enable more than one titles, let's say two, then it falls down to 26 FPS instead of 60. And uh, something similar was also here. Uh, here I have perfect things if I use with the 4090 maximally three titles. And uh, with the 3090, if I enabled just one title, uh, yeah, it would fall and would just jump and would be lower than 20 FPS um, in, instead of uh, over 120 FPS, uh, where it was working really nice with color grading and everything, but without any title. So here I can enable three titles and still work very nicely, while here I can work very, very nicely, but without titles. With the 3070 Ti, uh, yeah, it uh, showed 21, and then some, uh, sometimes it made only five FPS. And when I was looking into the task manager, I was seeing that the eight gigabytes have been full when it uh, only has five FPS. So not workable. Then down here with the R5, uh, the raw, are working really nice with the 4090, not as nice as the raw light on the R5C, and uh, not as nice as if you are working with the raw standard, but is a little bit higher quality than the raw light. Uh, yeah, but still over 60 FPS, and again, maximal three titles. If you make four titles, it would be jumpy and not really nice to work with. Then, uh, ah, uh, if you start here the playback from this one, I will show you here what I mean. Uh, it would always make a jump in the raw uh, playback. And after the little jump, then it plays really smoothly. And uh, we can show you here what I mean here. It's raw light. And I said, first it starts with jumping. So. You saw this jumping and now it works really nice. You can go double speed, four times speed, eight times speed. It works great, but always if you start it, it makes a jump and then it is smooth and nice. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, for me, really us usable. Two titles are enabled in this uh, part of the video. So uh, if I would enable four, if I would take this two over here, then it is jumping and it's not working nice. But again here, uh, the best case is if you use 7950X and 4090, as you have more perfect working uh, things. The R5C footage is better than the R5, especially the RAW. But um, with the RAW you can also work nice. But yeah, you just have to look with the uh, titles and also with the 3090 you can work nice, but um, yeah, you just can't uh, put titles inside. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend the 3070 Ti to work with this uh, with RAW or uh, everything that is 8K. And uh, yeah, again, the 8K H265422 is not really a codec for my hardware like also the 8K H264422 All-I on the R5 uh, is not really playable, but it's a little bit slower than the similar footage from the R5C. And also here's the All-I 60 FPS uh, 265422 is just playing 20 FPS, while over here the similar footage for to 260 fps but is some kind of uh, so what is my final verdict it is i started before uh, the upgrading of my system with a 3090 on a 5900x 
and my thoughts were should I just upgrade the GPU the 4090 and stay with my 5900X or should I upgrade the CPU the 7950X and keep my 3090 now for the R5C you see a lot of things would become much better with the upgrade of the CPU and I think when I compare this to over here I would get more benefits out of an upgrade of a CPU instead of the upgrade of the GPU uh, okay we saw before that uh, the Puget Bench would show a bigger a higher score with the 4090 but uh, for the R5C I would definitely say that it is better to upgrade the CPU. Now the rest here is really similar. Okay, there are codecs where it's a little bit faster over here and the most other thing with the R5 are uh, similar. Yeah, here you have a codec that is still good okay editable and what is not over here if you upgrade just the 4090 and uh, overall i would say this here is almost a draw in some situations you would benefit more from the cpu the 8k is over 60 fps with both if you use no titles no okay sorry uh, here in the raw with R5 you can also work similar um, like over here with one activated title over 30 with one title so I haven't tested it over here but uh, over 60 most probably with a title it would fall like this no so I would say it's a draw if you have a R5 so you can upgrade whatever you want if, if you take the 4090 or the 7950X it is almost the same but you will benefit much more if you have a R5C as these codecs are better playable with the 7950X and uh, yeah so if you would have a budget of around $2000 I would spend my money more in this in the 7950 when you work with R5C and when you work with R5 it's up to you if you want to upgrade I mean also the old one here is not bad you can work still with that and maybe it's better just to wait I mean also with the raw light uh, in the R5C you can work really really nicely and also here down with R5 footage uh, if you don't enable by editing titles and if you bypass the color uh, grading then it is really nice to work with this one and you don't need any proxies but it gets uh, nicer and smoother than uh, and you don't have to deactivate the color grading if you have one of these solutions so I hope that I helped you to know also if you just have a 5900X and a 3070 Ti uh, here you can see what you can ex expect um, yeah if you just make this investment mm -hmm. so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it will help you to choose the right equipment for you so thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah see you next time bye